Hi guys. I have a very interesting record player to show you today. This one, um, you know I collect the oddballs and the rarities. Well, this is definitely one of those. It's a big leather briefcase style. It's very large, but it's all leather briefcase style. Um, inside the briefcase we have a phonograph. Uh, this is property of the Fuller Brush Company. See that? And uh, it's a very, very unusual machine. It, um, rather than being uh, a phonograph that salesmen would use to show customers products, this was a, a phonograph that the Fuller Brush Company gave to prospective salesmen to learn about the product and the company. Now, uh, most interesting here. It almost it, it has a very large, a very long tone arm. It's a three-speed. It um, almost looks like a, a transcription tone arm. Very interesting. Uh, up here we have a pull-down screen, a roll-up pull-down movie screen. Okay. Uh, we have the operating instructions. For the Sales Master Sound Slide Film Projector um, and phonograph, obviously. Uh, this little cat, this little area here is where the the projector goes, and this is the projector. Very fabulous. The only thing going on with the projector is it needs a new bulb, so I'll have to get the bulb before I can show you the uh, film. And uh, we do have two of the film strips in here. Two of the film strips are present. And we have four uh, one-sided records that go with the film strip. Um, this one's red, the other three are black. You can see they're one-sided. They have like a fancy back, just like some of the transcriptions. Very, very, very interesting. This one says, the Fuller Brush Company presents an opportunity for a new career. So let us give it a shot. It's very fun. Very, it's huge. I, I don't, it's very much like a transcription player. The arm is just, is very big. It's, it's a little bit smaller than a transcription arm, but it is very big. Okay, these um, training records are 33 and a third, so let's see if we can get one going here for you. Used by successful Fuller dealers. Fuller Brush dealers are independent businessmen who have the privilege of asking the company for assistance in their work. sound you hear is obviously when you would change the, the to the next you would um, change the film strip to the next picture to people like you who want to look into the prospects of a dealership with the fuller brush company in a general way you already know something about the fuller brush man nearly every American has had some contact with fuller products and the man who sells them but before a decision can be made we know that you have at least three very important questions on your mind. First, how much money can I make? Second, what is the job exactly, and is it the kind of work I can do? And finally, will I be making a wise move if I leave my present job? The answers to these questions are important not only to you, but to us, too. First, as to how much money you can earn, let's take a look at the average Fuller dealer. He's a man with money in his pocket and in the bank. Last year, the average earnings of dealers in the entire country were more than $100 a week. That means a lot of them made much more. In fact, in some sections, the average incomes were more than $139 a week. Most Fuller dealers own their own homes, and quite a few are civic leaders in their communities. Our dealers come from every walk of life. We have men who used to be druggists, insurance men, plumbers, policemen, teachers, truck drivers, bank tellers, and business managers. Their backgrounds vary. But one common thread ties them all together. 
the desire to be in business for themselves. And that's what every Fuller dealer is, an independent businessman working for himself. Here's a typical group that shows you what the opportunities are. These are men who made unusual sales records last year. For example, George Varunas is from Mount Vernon, New York. After two years of college, he worked as a laundry delivery man. Then, in 1956, he was appointed a Fuller dealer. His sales record last year brought him gross sales of more than $31,000. About 40% of that amount was Mr. Varunas' real income, $12,000 plus, or more than $239 a week. Arnold Wessels was a machinist before he became a Fuller dealer in 1948. In his territory, in the Detroit area, he rolled up gross sales of more than $36,000 last year. Out of that, his gross profit was more than $14,000 for the year, or $280 a week. Don Johnson lives on the West Coast. He worked for a magazine distributor for eight years before he undertook a Fuller dealership in 1955. In Los Angeles, he built sales totaling more than $40,000 last year, and his personal income from these sales was more than $300 a week. These records are better than average, but every single one of the thousands of Fuller dealers has the opportunity to earn this kind of money. For this reason, the Fuller name is a byword in America. Everybody knows the Fuller Brush Company and its products. The company stands behind its dealers with a wide variety of quality merchandise used in the home. No less than 77 brushes make up our line. There is also a complete line of cosmetics. Cosmetics which are used up and have to be reordered by the customer. Chemical cosmetics even. I didn't, I don't practices. remember the Fuller Brush Man having cosmetics. How interesting. But I find it to be uh, fascinating. Um, the Fuller Brush Man was a very, I mean, still a very big thing when I was a little kid. I remember the Fuller Brush Man coming to my mother's house, you know. Um, we used to have Fuller Brushes. I remember she used to get hair brushes and scrubbing brushes and all kinds of things from the Fuller Brush Man. But I don't remember makeup. I'm going to have to ask her about that. But um, isn't that an amazing thing? That is really fascinating. Very unusual. Usual. And I'm very curious to, uh, you know, to see the film strip when I can get a project projection bulb. It should be a very simple fix. Um, really great player. Really fun. It was a bargain. I, I got it on eBay. I really lucked out with this one. And uh, just thought you'd find that very interesting. <laughs> Um, imagine that over a hundred dollars a week. <laughs> imagine when a hundred over a hundred dollars a week was a lot of money as income. That's amazing. Really amazing. It really tells you something about the you know how things have changed. Really, really fun. So anyway, I hope you enjoyed that, guys. I'll be back with you. Uh, I don't know. Uh, as soon as I can. I, I mean, uh, a lot of you know my mother broke her hip last Sunday, so I've been running ragged and uh, having to take care of her and uh, visiting her at the uh, rehabilitation place. And she'll be coming home at the end of the week. She's going to need a lot of help. So that's why you haven't seen me on the other channel. But anyway, or either channel, actually. <laughs> but anyway, I wanted to share this with you. I thought this was so fun. I got it today. Taking phone calls, preparing orders, and in many other ways. Now, to help you achieve that level of income, the company furnishes you with the best merchandise, good literature, the best sales assistance, 50 years of goodwill, a protected territory, a company-sponsored retirement plan, and accident and health insurance.